So I started putting my uh, main bearings in the engine, the 3400 here. And I got, you know, your front one in there. It's nice and snug, looking good. Get my second one put in there. Yeah, she's in there nice and snug, looking good. Go to put this, the main kind of most important one, in my opinion, the thrust bearing. And oh, look, it's loose as anything. This is a brand new bearing. And it's, I can literally just pull it right out. The backside's kind of a brownish color, but it looks like it was made in. What's that say? Well, it's got 23 in there, so I'm assuming it's made in 2023. If you look at that number, that is the same number as what came out of my my 3.1 block. You just accept that on these ones, it's a 25 mil undersize. That's what the 0.25 US stands for. Same number on the back there, 3673 RAB. This one has a U at the end of it for undersize, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Just, uh, but I can't do this one because this crank for the 3400 wasn't turned, but the crank for the 3.1 was turned. So if I literally take that out, set it aside, I take the 3.1 bearing, I put it in there. You gotta, you gotta push it down. You gotta freaking put some work into it. It's not gonna, it doesn't just, see? That's how it should be. It should be in there snug. I should not be able to just pull it out, right? So I gotta, now I gotta pull that out. But this is, and this is the 3400, the old one with 200 and something thousand kilometers on it. And it fits in there like the 3.1 bearing does. Uh, when I measure them, when I measure across here, sorry, when I measure across this distance, I've got 30 thou difference. When I measure the internal side to side measurement across there, they measure the same, but when I measure the, I'll call the outside diameter of that, I got 30 thou difference there. So that's not good. So I'm going to call uh, seal power, and because that's what these are, these are the seal power um, main bearings, because that's what I used on my 3.1. I was happy with them. So that's what this, this one is a seal power bearing as well. It did well. I had no issues with it. So I figured I'd try it again. And now I get uh, some, looks like some bad quality control. I was uh, all excited to start putting this thing back together. So after my main bearing situation, I called seal power. They said to uh, send the bearings back. So I've ordered another set all of seal power. I'll try another one. Uh, so I got to get these ones taken out, boxed up and uh, sent back to them. And we'll get another one in, in a couple days. But in the meantime, I figured I was going to put the camshaft in. So I get the camshaft put all the way in. And now I want to get like this. I can turn it, but she's stiffer than I think it should be. And I've properly lubed it with the uh, with assembly lube. Um, but when I just pull it out just a little bit, she loosens up quite a bit. So right there, it's not quite out of the, out of the, bear, the back bearing and she's nice, nice and loose when it's all the way in. So my what I wanna do just to make sure everything's good, is I'm going to take the cam out, I'm going to knock out the um, plug on the back, and I'm going to check the rear bearing, make sure it's installed properly, because again, it wasn't me that installed it, and I should have been smart enough to check it before I put it all together, but it feels like it's still in that rear bearing, because when I pull the cam out, when I pull the cam out, and I let it ride on the first, just the first three bearings, everything spins nice and free, so we're going to... Uh, I'll pull it out and I'll show you what I'm talking about as we go here. I got the engine off the stand. And to me, this rear cam bearing looks like it might be in there crooked. So it's hard to, but I don't know if you can see that. But to me, that looks like it's farther in on that side. Sorry, farther out on that side than it is on that side. So we're going to take the uh, vernier caliper here. We're going to measure that, see what it looks like. So this is why you always got to check your stuff, guys, because even though you take it to a machine shop, you, you only pay money to get things done properly. So I can do this with one handed here. I'll put it on there. We're going to push it in until it touches. We got 11.3 on that side. Do the same thing on this side. Push it until it touches. 10.3. We are out one mil side to side. So. 
either i don't know if i did that when i was pounding the plug in on that one or if it was just not seated properly to begin with uh see if i can fix it myself but otherwise if i can't if i'm not sure i'm gonna send it back to the machine shop and get them to fix it but like i said this is why you always uh check things yourself okay just to be absolutely certain we're gonna do it again i'm gonna put this up against this side I'm gonna see if you can hopefully see that i'm gonna stick it against the bear i'm gonna ride that in that touches on that side turn it over we got 11.34 i'm gonna do it the same thing on this side straight across push it until it touches we got 10.59 still out not quite a mil but too much that's why she's binding up on the end there when i push it into the last bearing and i'm glad i caught that before i put it all together so i think we got it fixed up here Let's see if I can, uh, so this is just riding on the other three bearings right now. She turns fairly decently, just what I would expect for new bearings. So we're going to slide it in the rest of the way and then uh, see what it looks like then. I think it uh, should be good now though. Okay, we're uh, slowly but surely getting there. So I finally got a new set of seal power bearings. Um, I took all the old ones out, put them in the box so I can send them back in and these ones look good and this one here is nice and snug now that thrust bearing that was a problem before i couldn't uh even keep it in there it just literally just fell right out um so these ones look like they're much better i also got my cam spinning a lot freer now i do a little bit of adjusting on the back side over here, on the back over here and then also I, the front one was also out a little bit uh, so again always check the work even if you're paying somebody else to do it just to be 100 because at the end of the day it's you that's going to end up having to take it back apart again if there's a problem so and i don't know if anybody noticed but uh this uh this is not a roller cam for a 3400 this is actually my old cloy's timing gear it's a dual roller style um and that's my crane cam that came out of my 3.1 turbo that was that's in here um i've decided to go try that in the 3400 block i've from what i understand a couple of guys have done it uh it, apparently but i think it'll work pretty well with this setup that, that i'm going to be doing here um i'm also going to just try to keep the 1.6 ratio stock rocker so it might require some custom push rods i don't want to get to that point um but i think it's going to be a good fit so with that cam and 1.6 ratio that should give me about 455 on the intake and 484 on the exhaust if i remember correctly um so I've got to do some checks, make sure that can clear the uh, the valves will clear the pistons, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay there. Uh, tell me what you guys think, if you can, because I know the stock cam, from what I read up, gives me about 440 lift, so this will give me a little more lift than that, uh, probably a little more duration as well. So, And it worked well on my 3.1 turbo, so I think it's going to be even better for this thing. It actually is a cam that, the, that GM sold for the 3.4 um camaro engine that you could use on, on that one so i think it's going to be a good setup for this thing and especially with the roller rockers and the, the 3400 heads funny thing about that is the intake manifold on the 3.4 the measurement is about 14 inches long my intake manifold that i built was 14.5 inches long um, but the 3400 has a little bit wider um wider ports on the intake manifold so i think it's going to be a really good fit uh on that aspect as well so but again, let me know what you guys think. Sorry, I don't know anybody that's done this swap before with the three point, the uh, sorry, this flat tap at cam versus the roller cam in a, in a roller block. Uh, but I think it's going to be a, a good fit. But again, I'm kind of curious to see what everybody else has to say about it. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, we'll wrap this one up. Just make it a short video, and we'll uh, talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye bye.